This video is protected under the satire exception clause in the misinformation section of the YouTube community guidelines. Tony Huge, a friend of freedom and a pioneer of human evolution. His channel was just deleted by YouTube for the fifth time at 55,000 subscribers. And for this past month, I've actually been living with Tony in Thailand. So in this video, I'll elucidate the multifaceted situation that many YouTubers have been reporting on through superficial viewpoints that fail to give context to the broader, more critical socio-political phenomenon that's unfolding in the Western world. The most prevalent narrative is that this deplatformation was relatively warranted, that facets of his content depicted the injection of anabolic hormones and or unintentional nudity that justified its removal from the platform. While it's true Tony received a community guideline strike for nudity prior to his channel's deletion, we meticulously examined each frame of the forbidden video without discovering a single sliver of a nipple. But see, YouTube doesn't require a wardrobe malfunction to validate a video's removal. YouTube's nudity policy is brazenly vague, encompassing even clothed breasts as a possible violation. This intentional ambiguity allows YouTube to weaponize these policies to censor content unaligned with their socio-political affiliation while allowing comparable content that's congruent with their socio-political affiliation. For example, this video depicting full-on nudity remains on the site and has been promoted to over 40 million people because it's contextualized as a self-milking technique that promotes women's empowerment. The profound level of hypocrisy becomes patently evident when you realize YouTube moderators must have first perceived Tony's content as sexual before its removal. So they blatantly partook in the sexualization of women, a mortal sin of the feminist philosophy they purport. But the double standards don't stop there. YouTube permits transgenders to showcase the injection of external hormones. But Tony isn't given equal treatment, despite testosterone being completely legal in Thailand. It appears the injection of hormones that make biological men more masculine is condemned, but the injection of hormones that make biological males more feminine is encouraged, which is actually entirely reasonable and logical. After all, testosterone is associated with traits such as dominance, assertiveness, and competitiveness, increasing individuals' propensity to rebel and question authority, while estrogen is associated with traits such as empathy, nurturing, and cooperation increasing individuals' inclination to comply with authority and be more easily controlled. The censorship of Tony Huge encapsulates the pernicious attack on masculinity in the West. He is the antithesis of the Western liberal woke agenda. When you want a woman, you take her. And she wants to be taken. Isn't that right? When an ape. <laughs> He's a handsome, masculine white male who moved to Thailand to create a harem of submissive, traditionally feminine Thai women. He's charismatic, intelligent, wealthy, and he has the potential to have a similar influence on young men as Andrew Tate. So 25 is about the age where you're trained enough to where it's not overwhelming work. I can start enjoying you now before having to train you. The difference is that Tony became a target of the Matrix years ago, and they've successfully limited his reach. I play the fifth hindering his endeavor to uplift men. See, if anyone is oppressed or victims in the United States, it's young men. Imagine the unbearable and psychologically detrimental cognitive dissonance that's induced when the embrace of your biological, God-given essence of masculinity is labeled by your society as toxic and unwelcome. This subconscious primal fear of societal ostracization has accelerated the deterioration of men's mental health. And that is the root of the emergent chaos in the West, not toxic masculinity. Impulsive violent acts are predicated on the reactive emotional state characterized by weak, feminine men, not strong masculine men. Testosterone may produce formidable men, but estrogen produces dangerous men. But accepting yourself as a victim is disempowering and advocating for men's mental health is clearly quite dangerous. So my advice to Tony, and anyone else attempting to make an impact, instead of trying to change the rules, play the game. 
like a renowned chess player would. Create an online persona that's politically protected from cancellation. Utilize the satire exception clause in the misinformation section of the YouTube community guidelines and establish a performative contextual foundation. Acting. Including this. This is also an act. <laughs> Was that good? Was that good? This way, when you say anything politically incorrect, you have a safety net. It's satire. So remember, guys. This is just acting, okay? Did I mention this video is strictly satire, by the way? It's acting, you two, okay? I'm actually just a feminist liberal exposing the absurdity of the Red Pill Manosphere movement through satire. So don't take this video down, okay? See, at the same time, your character must appeal to liberal values to gain the political protection from cancellation. If you submit to the political association that controls the media, you're not perceived as a threat. But to defeat the Matrix is no easy task. You should have said you are playing a fucking character when they ask you. Is this all just an act? No, this is the real me. You infiltrate the woke cult by becoming one of them, embodying the facets of the Western liberal persona. Some woke attributes to emulate would be mentally unstable. I can't wait to join you in heaven. <laughs> Weak. 40 entire days worth of fasting. Spiritual. Prima Sati Yoga. Gay, that'll get you some points. Say you're gay, just say you're gay. You get away with anything. Transgender, even better. Hi, lady boy. Hi, lady boy. Don't worry, you don't actually have to take female hormones, okay? You can actually just change your gender internally and apparently that's adequate. And then you can actually just take the renowned Natty Plus stack that has made me bigger and more masculine than ever before. Discount code's in the description below. But I think to really be convincing, you would have to get a transgender partner and then prove the relationship is genuine with an erotic film on OnlyFans. If you achieve this magnitude of trans friendliness, you are absolutely uncancelable. So I think that's my final step to fortify my uncancelability. I've left many hints insinuating the climax of this story arc. And Hulk Hogan with a lock is more gay than Megan Fox with a key. I'm saying we need to get you a ladyboy girlfriend. A ladyboy girlfriend? Andrew Tate actually gave me the motivation for this. It's gay to bang Hulk Hogan with a pussy. Whereas Megan Fox, okay, he's got a dick, but maybe you can like, scoot it out the way. I'm still Megan Fox. It's the only logical next step for the Red Pill movement. The Red Pill Grandmasters understand that the best women are, of course, men. I'm trying to get Tony on board with the strategy. I mean, he loves ladyboys. He's extremely trans-friendly. But there's a huge difference to the YouTube moderators between using them as what could be perceived as props for a video and actually being involved romantically with one. So I think Tony should follow my footsteps and prove how accepting he is of transgender. 10,000 likes on this video and we'll make that a reality. But in case he doesn't, you can follow Tony on Rumble to see uncensored content and become a friend of freedom and a pioneer of human evolution. And be on the lookout for some wildly controversial content coming soon and watch me strategically elude cancellation. But in order to remain uncancelable, Tony Huge is going to need your support. I'm going to need your support. So follow us along this epic journey to utilize all the loopholes to remain uncancelable and spread the most uncensored messages we possibly can. Satire, by the way, YouTube, okay? This is strictly satire. This video is protected under the satire exception clause in the misinformation section of the YouTube community guidelines.